Yo, what is up squad? Pino E here, back again. Happy Friday. Today's video, eh, I'm gonna rate it a solid 6 out of 10. But I still want you to hit the like button. I want you to subscribe if you're new around here. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And now let's go. Let's start off today with Converse, who in partnership with Tyler, the creator, are lining up to release the next installment of the One Star Golf LeFleur collection. This time around, we get four different color options, coming in your choice of pink and orange, light blue and pink, purple and green, or red and light blue, with all pairs featuring white stitching, the Golf LeFleur logo on the sides, and white midsoles. Look for the collection to drop on May 31st on Converse.com and at select retailers for $100 a pair. Over to Adidas, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to start with their garbage or what I think is a cool looking collection, but I did decide to start with the collection, and I think the concept is dope and the execution is on point. What we have up on screen is the size Adidas Trim Star VHS pack, which features two pairs, and it's inspired by the cult practice of videotaping classic soccer games on blank VHS tapes. While I don't have the prices just yet, the black pair will be available on May 25th and the cream pair on June 1st via size retail locations and online on their website. Now for all the youngins watching this, this is what a VHS tape is. Okay, and let's move over to the trash. This pair up on screen is the Adidas Commander. And for anyone hoping for that Dylon fire, I'm talking he spits hot fire, the greatest five rappers alive are Dylon, 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 and motherfucking Dylon from Adidas. With the Dragon Ball Z collection, I'm sorry, but this is the Majin Buu, and if Adidas really cared about the environment, they would have never wasted rubber on this outsole, or the energy that was needed to run the factory machine to make these straight garbage fuckery. Let's move on. These things drop sometime in October. Man, what do they do here? Come on, Adidas, you gotta do better. Let's move on over to Nike, and if you missed the 2017 release of the Nike Air Max 1 OG University Red or one of the 19 restocks that happened after that drop, then I guess I got good news for you because it appears that the pair is once again restocking on June 1st for $140. I'm not sure how wide this restock is going to be, but for now it is listed on the Footlocker.com website. Stay tuned for more. I've never really been big on the Nike Air Max 180, but it is one of the brand's more popular Air Max silhouettes. And getting added to the lineup is the pair that's up on screen, coming in a black, pink blast, and wolf gray colorway. The pair comes in a black leather upper that gets paired up with pink accenting on the swoosh logo and tongue, purple on the heel, finished off with what I think is an unnecessary hit of wolf gray on the heel surrounding the air unit. Pretty cool, and if you like them, check your local Nike Sportswear retailers, because they're available today. Now last up for today, we have one stop at Jordan Brown and it's regarding the Off-White Air Jordan 1 UNC. Today we got some new looks, but also some additional info regarding the release date. The last date that we all heard was June 9th, and there's some folks out there sticking to that date, but according to End Clothing, they are dropping on June 23rd. I'm not going to say which is wrong and which is right. Obviously, End Clothing date will be correct June 23rd. They are a retailer, but it could also be that the US and Europe have different dates. The point is, I don't know, and the reason I'm talking about it is because many people have asked. So the moral of this story is don't worry about the date. We're going to get that soon, but stay ready because they're coming. And that does it for today's video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, and I hope you did, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe, join the squad. If you've got something to say, leave it in the comments below, and I'm out.